Okie dokie. In this video, we're going to take a look at named layouts in SvelteKit. You can see in the SvelteKit repository on GitHub here, there's been a recent change. This was two days ago. And it's a breaking change for the layout.reset. And this is this introduced named layout files. Um, and then there's been a subsequent release uh, yesterday. So if we go over to the SvelteKit docs here and search for named layouts, we can see them here. And this gives you the ability to add a, a name to your layout. So let's just quickly go over how we'd use this in a SvelteKit application. So the best way to do that is for me to show you how to do it. So I'm just gonna spin up a new SvelteKit app. I'm gonna start off by creating a new SvelteKit project. I can do that with npm init svelte at next, and I'll give this a name. And I'll hit enter on that. And it's gonna use the skeleton project here. I'm gonna say no to TypeScript, or yes, Linton. We'll say yes to Prettier, and no to Playwright. We'll cd into the directory and I'll install the dependencies with pmpm, which doesn't seem to be installed. So I'll just go and install that now quickly. Okay, so let's pmpm install my dependencies for this named layouts project. Then I'll pop open VS Code. And of course, it's opened on the other window. So let's bring this over here, maximize this, and let's bump up this font size here. Okay, now I've got it open. I can take a look at the current routes I've got, which is just my homepage, uh, the index file here for the routes. So let's spin up the dev server. I'm going to say pmpm run dev here, and and that's. Check this out on localhost 3000. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is move this over here. Uh, terminal can go down here and VS Code can go over here. At the moment, it's got the Welcome to Svelte Kit here. That's my index page over here a sec. So with a layout page, it allows you to apply styles to anything at the same level as that layer and nested within it. So the layout file is a special file name. It's underscore underscore layout.svelte. And you'll notice that the project here isn't visible anymore. That's because we need a slot here. And that will come back. So for this now, if I wrap this in a main tag, let's say, and then add some styles to this, I can have a global style here, or let's just say the root. And I'm gonna want a nice font family to use. Let's just go with sans serif, a bit nicer. And for the main tag here, let's just add a background color of light, let's go light coral. Okay, so we've got our default style being applied here, but then any other routes I add in, so let's say I add in an about svelte file, and add in some markup here. And let's navigate to that from here. We'll see that we've got the same styles being applied to this. Okay, so that's good. But let's say we want to change the, the layout we have at the moment, it's just gonna be top down. Say if we want to have like a card list or like a products listing in another route, so if we have our roots here and we could have a products route, 
And then in here, we could have uh, an index file. We go from about here to product. Currently, I've got no content. So let's just add in a H1 here with this is the product page. Then we have our products index, but say if we wanted to have a different layout for this, um, at the moment, this is currently taking on the styles from this layout here. But say if we wanted to have a different layout, we can go to here and say underscore underscore layout. And this can be for products. It's a svelte file. And in here, we'd also want a main slot and the style in this one. Let's go for the background color. Background color of Rebecca Purple, let's say. Then as I've changed that there, let's just save that. And this hasn't been updated yet. That's because the index here needs to take on this layout. So if I edit this and say index at products, then it takes on the style from the products layout here. So now if I add in another file, let's say, and we'll call this file one, very imaginative. And this is a, let's say a nested product.svelte file. So this at the moment, if I go from products here to one, this will currently take on the layout here. That's because it's not got a named layer assigned to it. So it's just gonna take the default or fall back to the, the next level of the layout. So in here, I can say this is for products. And uh, maybe it'd help if I could spell products. And it looks like I killed the dev server there. Let's run that again. Okay, so this takes on that. So if I have got a nested file here though, which I want to not have the same layout as the rest of the files in this folder with this layout. What I could do is what I had before where I just, just took out the naming convention for it, but I might not want this file here. I'm not sure if you noticed in the release notes here, but layout.reset is a breaking change now. This has been removed. So if you want to revert it or have a, okay, a reset or a, a root layout file, let's say, you could add another one at the, the root here for the roots. Let's call this layout uh, root, what's felt. And then in here, this can be another main tag with a slot. And for the styles here, so the main tag has a background color of, let's go a pie and whip. Good, that comment now. And save that. So now in my nested layer here, this can take on the, the root layer. So this is all very, um, simplified just because I don't have the time to um, make many different layouts for this example. So I'm just using the, the background color here to highlight the different root changes. We've got quite a few roots in here now. So let's just, uh, let's just make something so we can navigate around here. So I'm just gonna create a new file in the source folder here. And this is gonna be a components file. And it's just gonna be a nav bar. And in here, we can just have a nav with an unordered list. And we can have a list item here for each one of the roots we have. Let's put an A tag in here. At the moment, we've got home. And there's an about page. Change it to about. Um, and then we have the products. And 
let's just close that. So in here, let's just do uh, another unordered list for, for what it was we had, which is uh, products one. Right, let's just do another one for product two. Doesn't exist yet. Right, save that. So now I'm going to need to use this component in all of the layout files. So this layout file here, bring in this nav bar. I'm going to use the VS Code IntelliSense here to import it. Self closing tag. You notice it's been imported here. Hit save on that. So now this is the index. I'll go back to localhost 3000 here. Rid of all that. Now I've got my nav bar. Um, but it needs to be persisted um, across the products, um, the two nested routes in here. So let's just go and add that to this layout here. And at the, sorry, this um, this route here uses the this layout here uses the product one uses the root. So let's go over to the root layout here and import the nav bar here too. Okay, we'll save that. Now we should be able to navigate around home, about, products. And um, I didn't need the layout in the products here. Get rid of that. Got double render on that. There we go. So I can do product one and product two doesn't exist yet. So let's just copy pasta. That one, and let's just rename it to two. And this can take on the products. And we'll call this nested product spell. Call this one two. And we'll call the other one one. Now, if I start clicking around here, you see that that's the layout will change for the individual routes I have specified in the project here. So um, product two at the moment is taking on the products layout, which is Rebecca Purple. Product one is taking on the root layout here, which is this one down here. And then the rest home about uh, are taking on the default layout here. And then we have the products, which takes on the product layout. Okay, so that was a very brief look at named layouts in Svelkit. I hope you found it useful and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.